In just five weeks, Josh and Zoe's ambition is to create a fully functioning restaurant that will show UK employers that people with dementia can work for longer. Even with a diagnosis of dementia, work could still be possible for some people as long as companies and employers make reasonable adjustments. They're definitely going to put us to work, they aren't are they? Definitely. <laughs> what job in the restaurant do you think you'd be the best at? I think I could do any of the spaces in the, in the restaurant where you need it. And if you say, I, I'm the one that needs to do, do all the dirty washing, I'll do that as well. I don't mind. I really don't. I just want to do something. Over the course of her almost 40-year career, Avril became a renowned gynaecological surgeon and obstetrician, working all over the world. In 2015, Avril was diagnosed with a rare form of dementia. Oh, goodness. I'm just trying to remember what on earth that name was. Um... And had to resign from her job. With disregard for that past. When was the last time you felt proud of something you'd done? Goodness, I don't remember. I don't remember. Show them to the table. Let's over here. Follow me, please. Tomorrow is the grand opening when friends, family and specially invited guests will be cooked for and served by the volunteers. What would you like to drink? A gin and tonic. A gin and tonic. Today, Josh is training Roger how to be a waiter. Double? Double? <laughs> Large? Or yes, single? Yes, all, all three? <laughs> a large one, please. A large one. You like a large one, don't yes. you? <laughs> OK, thank you very much. Thank you. Roger? Off to the bar. Here you are, ladies. Thank you. There's your wine. Oh, your gin and tonic you had, didn't you? Yes. She hasn't had her coffee I still yet. Have it. Oh, you're absolutely sure. It's fun. We all, all got Alzheimer's here. You could have forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Roger, do you want to go get oh, it? Don't get it. <laughs> I'm happy for you! In this project, I came into it knowing I'm going to have to be extremely patient. And I know when I want to be, I can be very patient. Sometimes maybe not, but most of the time I can be. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to our restaurant. Next to be seated is Avril's husband, Michael. That looks like my husband. <laughs> it's just like him, anyway. Identical. It is your husband. What's his name? Dr. Staunton. What's his first name? Dr. Staunton. <laughs> oh, he's chatting to Rachel Riley. I, I had uh, iPhone, and then my wife, Julie, she's got... Um, I seal the, I seal the name. The other phone. The Samsung. Uh, Samsung, Android, yeah. Samsung. Yeah. Well, just been chatting for about an hour now. <laughs> to the same people? Well, to different people. Yeah. So I had, I had the S9. Uh, and I think it was a mistake. I should have stuck the Vodafone. Yeah. Roger has done well to start with, but for the last hour, he's just been having a chat with everyone. <laughs> Bit of a social. Yeah. Thank you very well, much. It is, it is really really brilliant. brilliant. Thank you very much. And essentially, I think that he might have completely forgot at this point that he's got a job to do. Yeah, but so uh, I wish I'd have had another iPhone, you know. Yeah. 